The mother of a four-year-old girl is suing Hamilton's public school board for $1 million after her daughter suffered injuries, including a partially severed finger. A caution, the images in the story are graphic. They were shared by the child's, child's mother, who's also demanding sweeping changes in policy and staff. Jason Gaidola has more. This is absolutely not a cut. That is the partial amputation of my daughter's fingertip that was stitched fully back on and also had a fracture. Right outside the Hamilton Wentworth District School Board with supporters by her side, Janita Harrison says it's unclear if life will ever be the same again for her five-year-old daughter, Autumn, after her child nearly lost part of her right-hand finger in an alleged bully attack at her school. It's been a long six months. I want myself back. I want my daughter's finger back. Harrison has launched a $1 million lawsuit against the public board about the incident at Prince of Wales School last November. A statement of claim says when Autumn Harrison was in the bathroom during lunch break, at that time two other children came into the bathroom and got into an altercation. And as a result of the altercation, one of the bullies slammed a door on Autumn, crushing her hand and causing the tip of her finger to be amputated requiring immediate medical attention. Harrison shared this picture showing the injury. When contacted by the school, Harrison says she was then redirected to the hospital when staff called an ambulance. Harrison claims she arrived before her injured daughter, who was with the medics only and no one from the school. Autumn then required surgery. My baby girl deserved dignity and proper treatment from school personnel, yet the school failed to provide me with proper, truthful, accurate documentation of the incident. We want to express our, our compassion to the family and to the student um, for the injury that was sustained, um, and we are taking in their feedback. Spokesperson Sean McKillop says he can't provide comment about the lawsuit, but the school board apologizes for the incident and an internal investigation is underway. Harrison and others are demanding action, including compensation and the firing of staff tied to the incident. Harrison and supporters are demanding more systemic changes here at the board. Some of them include a protocol for students who are experiencing a medical crisis and a reintegration plan for those same students. The board says it is reviewing its policies. Harrison says while Autumn is showing good spirits on her fifth birthday today, she's still healing and no longer attending schools with the Hamilton Public Board. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Hamilton.